So I was like walking through the woods and I, I heard this ruckus and I, I don't know. I went the other way, you know, kind of fast because I just didn't want to get pulled into it. You know, like it just seemed like one of them ruckuses that's going to end up being a whole thing. And, you know, I, I'm getting older and, you know, life is crazy. I, I don't want to get involved with whole things. I just don't want to. So don't force me into that situation. I, I don't think I'm asking for too much. But it didn't really matter, so whatever. So uh, I'm heading the other way, and then I hear screaming, Oh, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. We need help. So I start running even faster, but I hear someone running behind me. I'm freaked out. I'm like, whatever was causing that ruckus must be right behind me. Must be like catching up to me. Maybe it's a bad guy. Maybe something crazy is going on. I'm about to get caught up in it, even though it is the whole thing I'm trying to avoid. But no one cares. No one gives a shit you're trying to avoid anything. So they just come running after you. At least that's what I'm assuming. Maybe I'm about to get stabbed. I don't know. I don't run that fast, to be honest with you. Because I don't run often. Why would I do that? It seems exhausting and like a waste of like uh, life hours, you know? I need those life hours. And then, you know, all of a sudden I feel someone on my shoulder. He's like, hey! I turn. And some dude, he's just like, hey, I need your help, man. I'm like, what do you need help with? He's like, oh, my girlfriend is nine months pregnant and she's about to give birth to our baby. And, you know, neither of us are doctors. We don't know what to do. And I'm like, is she full term? He's like, yeah, she's almost nine months pregnant. And I'm like, dude, why the hell would you bring a nine month pregnant woman out to the woods? Like, what are you doing? And he's like, you shouldn't assume her gender. And I was like, I apologize. You know, I guess it technically is right. You know, I seen the movie Junior and it is possible for other genders to get pregnant. That is a fact. So I did apologize to him for that. And going forward, I was like, hey, I'll I'll be kind. I'm like, what, what does she prefer I call her? And he's like, you just said she, you just said her. He's like, and she is a she or her. So good job. You guessed correctly. And I was like, that's awesome. And he gave me a chocolate bar. So like it kind of tricked me. So next thing you know, I'm back at their camp because they're fucking camping in the woods because that makes sense with a pregnant person. And she's screaming and everything's wet and fucking everything's crazy. And I don't know what to do. I never gave birth to a child before. You know, but my kids were C-sections, so I'm thinking, give me a knife. I'll just slice her stomach open and I'll just pull the baby out. No big deal. We'll get some scotch tape and we'll just finish this whole thing up right now. But uh, he didn't like my way. He's like, no, she's got to push it out of her vajayjay, her vagina, her pussy, the, the you know, the, the thing that created us all, that we all came out of, you know, like uh, the entrance into the world. Unless, of course, you were C-section. Then you got to get the, you know, the VIP exit, you know. But it, it is what it is. So I'm like, okay, this is what's happening. I guess we got to do it. And I'm like, well, get down there, man. I guess I'll hold her hand and tell her to breathe and all that good stuff. And he goes, dude, I can't do it. Uh, he goes, I pass out too easily. I get real queasy. All, it's just a bunch of excuses. And I'm sitting there thinking right then in my head, I knew it. I knew this was going to be a whole thing. I fucking knew it'd be a whole thing. So I'm like, whatever, I'll do it. So I get down there and I'm going through the whole thing. Same shit you've seen a billion times, you know, I'm like, push, push, push. I'm trying to get it. Shoulders come out, head comes out. I get the whole baby out of there and it's got the freaking cord attached to it, which is gross as shit. And I'm like, what are we going to do about this, man? And he's like, I don't know. I'm like, go get the fucking machete. So he goes, and gets the, the, the machete and he fucking swings. He dices off the fucking umbilical cord. I'm like, dude, here's your fucking baby. She starts screaming. Some fucking weird giant fucking shit ball comes out. I don't know what the fuck it is. And I'm like, well, throw that away. I throw it into the fire thinking it's going to be okay. Uh, but it's not. It's not. It smells fucking awful. It's absolutely awful. So I'm like, all right, you guys are fucking insane. I worked really hard. I want some money. And they're like, oh, we don't have any money. We don't have any money. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, you bring me into this situation. You make me give birth to your child. You make me go through all of this stuff. And you have no way to pay me? Are you fucking kidding me? And I'm like, I'm irate at this point. And then I have an idea. I'm like, okay, I'm going to get paid one way or the other. So I go and grab the baby and I just run off in the woods. I go meet up with my buddy Clayton because I know Clayton. He has connections. He has a guy for everything. You know, everyone knows that guy has a guy for everything. And I'm like, dude, I'm trying to get some money. I helped this baby come into this world. I feel like I deserve something for it. So he got me a couple grand for the baby, which was pretty cool. And uh, those people never bothered me again. But I'm just saying that's the kind of shit that bothers me. And that's why I don't want to go camping with you. Okay. I just don't want to go camping with you. It's, it, it just always ends up being like a whole thing. 